Desperate times call for desperate measures. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 inventions that could save our planet. For this list, we're looking at the most promising ideas and creations that could help prevent environmental disaster. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Pollination Drone Pollinators, including bees, wasps, and butterflies, are a vital part of the planet's ecosystem, responsible for maintaining the plant life we need to breathe. But climate change, coupled with the widespread use of insecticides for farming, is putting the world's insects at risk. Bee activity is low when it's cold, and this reduces pollination. Instead of bees, drones can do the work. In the event of a worst-case scenario, some scientists in the Netherlands have been working on groundbreaking pollination drones, able to fill the shoes of bees everywhere should the fabled insect apocalypse come to fruition. While losing our pollinators would be a tragedy, hopefully the drones will enable more threatened species to survive climate disaster. We can literally look at the, at the plant level and tell if a plant is thirsty, if a plant needs nutrients, or if a plant is sick. Number 9. Coral Reef Cooler The coral reefs have become a prominent issue in the fight against climate change as the Great Barrier Reef dwindles and dies. The death of the reefs puts the tropical fish species living in them at great risk as well, along with many ocean creatures who rely on the reefs for food. But one engineer based in Arizona, Moe Sani, may have found the solution to coral bleaching. The reason for coral bleaching is primarily rising sea temperatures, so Asani wants to install large pipes to pump cold water from the ocean's depths up to the reefs to cool them down again. These unique large diameter pipes can be made continuously on a boat and placed at the bottom of the ocean. A simple pump powered by the waves can deliver cool water from deep portions directly to these dying corals. Then they can start to heal. Number 8. Paper Upcyclers with deforestation only increasing, it's in everybody's best interest to cut down on how much paper we use. Printer manufacturer Epson is leading the charge in this regard, with their new paper lab. This machine can be installed in offices, banks, schools, and other businesses to allow people to reuse their own waste paper. The machine upcycles it and spits out fresh sheets, giving users a potentially infinite supply without chopping down any more trees. So the paper's put into the hopper in the front of device and it's defibrized, it's mechanically broken down. And this is far more secure than shredding. Any information that's on the paper at this point is completely and utterly obliterated. While the paper lab machines are currently very large, in the future perhaps we'll have smaller ones in our own homes, drastically reducing the demand for paper. Number 7. Air Ink when Indian inventor Anurudh Sharma realized the soot in Mumbai's polluted air was staining his clothes, he had the idea to recycle the exhaust fumes themselves and use them for something completely different. He created startup Graviki Labs and invented a filter able to capture 95% of carbon soot from any vehicle that produces exhaust fumes, which he then turns into art supplies. The reason why we're getting all this popularity is the simplicity of the idea. So whenever you see an uncontrolled combustion happening, whenever you burn any kind of fossil fuel, there's unburnt carbon. And uh, this is the problem and this is uh, exactly the thing that we use. Uh, to make our inks. These supplies, called air ink, include spray cans, oil-based paints, and pens. The products quickly earned over $40,000 on Kickstarter, much more than their original $14,000 goal, encouraging artists globally to try and tackle air pollution in this unique way. Soon thousands of black and white pollution-made artworks started emerging on a global scale. And believe me, for a group of scientists and engineers and inventors, there was nothing more satisfying that the produce of their work is now being used by some of the finest artists around the world. Number 6. Eco Capsules With the popularity of microhomes and unconventional living spaces booming, the Eco Capsule is a green initiative for those most dedicated eco-warriors. While typically costing nearly $100,000, it's not a cheap option compared to mobile homes or camping, it certainly adds a degree of luxury to battling the climate disaster. Powered by rooftop solar panels and a wind turbine, 
The capsules look like eggs and can be installed almost anywhere. Here's the interior. It has a folding bed, a table, two chairs, a little kitchen, a toilet, and a shower, so pretty much everything you need for basic living. In the future, company founder Sona Polova wants to create capsules capable of withstanding extreme temperatures and conditions. With the Eco Capsule, the world is literally your oyster. The philosophy of this object is very simple, independent living in nature. Something like the pioneers in America who used to go far away and live off the grid. This is free living without any permanent connection. Number 5. Thermal Hydrolysis Just like every other creature on Earth, humans produce waste, but there are ways to use this waste to our advantage. Thermal hydrolysis involves boiling sludge in order to sterilize it, so that it can be used as fertilizer or even to generate electricity. So the thermal hydrolysis has a particular technology which is dedicated on the sludge reduction and also to take the value from the, the sludge after digestion. As well as sewage, the process can also use food waste or industrial waste, using extremely toxic materials and sterilizing them so they can be recycled. We provide uh, benefits in terms of copex savings to the wastewater treatment plant owners. We can build one third of the normal sized uh, digester. We improve biogas production and we produce 50% less cake. It's better than conventional sewage treatment because it's cleaner, healthier, and cheaper in the long term. And apparently it doesn't smell quite as bad as sewage usually does. Number 4. Water Vapor Airplane Another way to combat air pollution is by getting rid of the pollutants altogether. While electric vehicles are getting more and more popular, German inventor Joseph Callow is aiming to change the face of aviation. He has plans to create an air taxi, an electric plane that runs on batteries and water vapor, called the HY-4. The HY-4 is an electrical, emission-free aircraft. Um, the energy of the hydrogen, which we carried on board, is converted directly in a fuel cell into electricity. It's a passenger aircraft which is completely carbon neutral, and Kahlo is aiming to get them installed widely in Germany before moving on to the rest of the world. An important task with this plane is to show that the reliability of the hydrogen fuel cell is so high that we can transport passengers. The HY4 gets us one step closer to sustainable transportation and a carbon neutral society. Number three, ocean cleanup. Few causes have received as much attention as the polluted oceans, and there are numerous initiatives to try and clean the seas. The largest of these is the Ocean Cleanup, which promises to build an enormous floating pipe to gather and get rid of pieces from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is now at least three times larger than France. On a smaller scale is the Seabin Project, founded by Australian surfers. Siglinski, a surfer from Australia, and his business partner dreamed up the Seabin three years ago, frustrated by the growing amount of plastic and pollutants littering the water. This device also collects trash from the sea and can be installed in any body of water. A company based in Chile called Burio is combating ocean waste by recycling it into skateboards and sunglasses while Floridan company Saltwater Brewery is creating edible six-pack rings to lessen the threat to sea life. Saltwater Brewery presents edible six-pack rings. A six-pack ring that feeds animals instead of killing them. Number two, multi-purpose solar panels. Solar panels are a great thing, but installing them can be very expensive, meaning there are lots of people who aren't reaping their benefits. Multiple companies are trying to put solar panels on as many surfaces as possible, though, so that everybody can use clean energy. Initiatives include making windows out of panels to power whole buildings, as well as phone screens so you rarely have to charge your devices. Most interesting is the solar roadways scheme, which aims to give entire highways a solar surface, though these are proving tricky. There is a, a project in, in the United States called uh, Solar Roadways, which consists of uh, concrete slabs, uh, including uh, the solar cells plus uh, tempered glass on top of it. Conventional panels are also being upgraded, with MIT recently trialing bacteria to conduct electricity and drastically improve their efficiency. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Water-soluble bags. These alternatives to single-use plastic bags dissolve in water. Trash interceptors. Baltimore's Mr. Trash Wheel is proving influential. John Kellett designed and built the trash wheels, solar and water-powered machines that collect floating trash and drop it into dumpsters. Water odor. This water turbine generates energy in slow currents. 
Water Rotor over the last eight years has been the only company that's actually been able to prove and extract energy from flows that are moving as slow as, even as slow as one mile per hour. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, alternative plastics. There's no denying that plastic is a major pollutant and decades of single use disposable plastics have wrought havoc on the natural world. The problem is that plastic is very effective as a packaging, container, or material, so people have been trying to come up with alternative options with all the benefits but none of the problems. Agar is an eco-friendly packaging material that might take over from plastic and paper, and Indonesian company Avani Eco have worked out how to make plastic out of cassava vegetables. Finally, scientists working in Japan recently discovered the enzyme PETase, capable of breaking down plastics to their raw components so that they can be recycled. So maybe the future will be plastic free after all. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.